Welcome back, True Seeker. November 12th, 2024, the Superior General's birthday. That's Arturo Sosa, known as the Black Pope, the leader of the Jesuits who served the Roman Catholic Church. And Trump's made more appointments on this day. He has appointed Elon Musk to his new government department of efficiency. And I just want to remind about the puppet Elon Musk and him now taking a federal position with the guy who hates electric cars, Donald Trump, who happens to be 78 years old. Remember, it was January 7th, 2021, the 78th anniversary of the death of Nikola Tesla that Elon Musk was declared the world's richest man for the first time ever surpassing Jeff Bezos, the other guy that makes dick rockets that supposedly fly into space. And the funny thing about it being the 78th anniversary of Tesla's death is that in Gematria, the Kabbalistic practice of coding numbers into words, Tesla equates to 78, as does Jesuit. And again, now we have this appointment on the Superior General's birthday. And don't forget, the Jesuits came out of suppression on the 7th of August, the 7th month of the, or excuse me, the 7th day of the 8th month. And that was in the time of James Madison and the major Jesuit ritual. That's a whole nother story. But yes, 78-year-old Trump now with Elon Musk. And going back in history, If you look into the death of Nikola Tesla, who did the audit of his apartment when he passed away? It was none other than Donald Trump's uncle who worked in the FBI. And again, I'll remind people, in 2017, when YouTube really cleaned house and deleted a ton of people's channels, people who had never been deleted before, including yours truly, that mass exodus of channels happened June 28th 2017 on Elon Musk's birthday. Think about that. What are the odds of these things? And that was shortly after Donald Trump said he would like to censor all of his critics. Of course, yours truly was definitely a Donald Trump critic as I criticized both of the Republicans and the Democrats. Two parties, two wings of the same bird. But yeah, Elon Musk has also been saying, I'm dark mega. Do the gematria on that phrase. It equates to 78, just like Tesla, just like Jesuit. And uh, again, Trump, the top cards in the tarot deck are Trump cards. There's 78 cards in the deck. These numbers are not arbitrary. All of this stuff is such obvious ritual. And what's sad is so many people in the world are fooled by this puppet show. They think Elon Musk, this guy who's online, he's probably, if you probably go on his Twitter account right now, he's probably playing video games. This guy supposedly runs a rocket company, a car company, a high speed internet company, other companies, a small home company, et cetera, et cetera. But he has time to play video games at night. I mean, give me a break. Not to mention he's playing that, uh, that devil video game that came out synced with the Superior General as we talked about once upon a time. So yeah, what a puppet show. And I've been telling you forever, Elon Musk, Donald Trump, total Jesuit puppets. Don't forget what happened to Trump's ex-wife as she fell down the stairs and died 45 years after their marriage. His ex-wife, Ivana, but she also died again exactly 60 weeks into the first first ever Jesuit Ignatian year the same day he announced he'd run in this election, which was the 60th. But yeah, I mean, this to happen on the Superior General's birthday, just complete mockery. And if you need the, uh, the date timestamp, there it is right there. November 12th, that is Arturo Sosa's birthday. And remember, Trump also appointed the head of the CIA today. We always talked about how the CIA was clearly established in a major Jesuit ritual A lot of people call the CIA Catholics in action. The new head of the CIA went to Notre Dame, Catholic educated. But yeah, all these appointments on the Superior General's birthday and the coincidence theorists 
will yet again think somehow, some way, this is nothing but coincidence. What are you talking about? You mean you like Kamala? Nope, that's not what I said, tards. I said both parties are owned by the Jesuit cabal and this nation's one big illusion, one big lie, and essentially one big massive slave ship. That's why you're paying so much taxes as your money gets shipped off overseas by central bankers who control this nation and its puppet politicians and don't really give two shits about anybody that lives here. Remember, the Jesuits didn't start here, and if you knew your history, you'd know that people fled across the Atlantic trying to escape the Jesuits and the Catholic Church. As they say, those who don't know history are doomed to repeat it. Until next time.